¿Qué tal amigas? Yo soy Rocío y esto es Risas Rizos en Español y este video va a ser un poco especial porque obvio tengo a mi novio, se llama Lance. Say hi. Hi. Hola. Hola. Si me están siguiendo por Instagram entonces ya conocen a Lance porque en marzo hice unos videitos cuando fuimos a Disney y ahí fue cuando enteraron que tengo un novio y ahora que vivo con él, muchas de ustedes que me están siguiendo por Instagram me están preguntando cosas de nuestra relación, cómo nos conocimos y you know, historias así. Entonces en este video voy a contestar algunas preguntitas que me estaban dejando en Instagram, pero los lo voy a tener que contestar en inglés porque obvio Lance no entiende español, right? Yeah. Sí. Sí, yeah. <laughs> Vamos a hablar en inglés, pero voy a poner subtítulos, okay? So, a good majority of the questions was how we met. So, we met online. We met through a dating app. First, it was through Bumble, mm -hmm. and then it was through Hinge. We were talking on Bumble maybe a couple days, mm -hmm. a couple weeks, and then I, I got bored with that app. Not that I was getting bored with him, I just got bored with the app, and so I downloaded Hinge. And I got on Hinge, and we matched immediately. And as soon as we matched, he was like basically telling me, okay, well, this is the second time we matched, so we should go out on a date. We should meet in person. I was like, okay, here's the catch. I did not know where he lived. I thought <laughs> he lived in New Orleans. Apparently, when we matched, he was probably in New Orleans too, probably, because yeah. that's why, you know, like I put the whole geographic preference within like 15, 20 miles of where I live. This boy lives more than 65, 70 miles away from me, but I didn't know that until we had already agreed to, well, no, until, until we had already matched, I think. Yeah, At that matched, point, yeah. we matched. I knew he lived in Baton Rouge. It didn't really bother me that much, but I think at the time I was like, mm, you know, let's try it. Let's try it. The problem was that when he asked me out on a date, he asked me to go out to Cirque du Soleil, Cirque du Soleil, which I was really excited about because a lot of y'all know that my family history, my family owned a circus and was in the circus. I was like, oh my god, I love yes. circuses. I was so excited to go. The day of though, I texted him and I was like, so when are you coming to pick me up? And he's like. Um, it's Cirque du Soleil in Baton Rouge. I'm like, oh hell, I gotta drive <laughs> to Baton Rouge. This is the first time I'd ever driven outside of New Orleans to, to meet up date, with a guy, yeah. yeah, to go on a date. I shared my location with my sister because I was afraid. <laughs> this is the first time I'm meeting this guy in person. What if something happens? What if he kidnaps me? What if I'm abducted or something? So, shared my location. Big tip for y'all. As soon as we met in person, I was trying to get into the parking garage and this boy hops into my car because he's already waiting for me. Because without... I had to pay for her to get in the parking Well, yeah, you could have followed so, my car. <laughs> I told her, you have cash because it was only a cash park. Mm -hmm. I and didn't have like, any cash. She didn't have any cash. Mm -hmm. So I was like, well, I'll pay for you. I'll just meet you at the gate. Well, I saw her coming, so I just got in the car. He just got in my car. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine me going on a first date with so someone? I'm already nervous, okay? I don't even know anything about nervous. this guy. And my car is a mess. My car is always a mess in general, but I had like empty water bottles all over the floor. <laughs> it was disgusting in my car. And this boy just hops into my car and it's like, hey, and I'm just like. I could tell by her face too. She was like, I did not expect No, I was not expecting him to get in my car. <laughs> so just so it was great. Yeah. It was that. And then we went to a bar after mm -hmm. and we just sort of like spilled all of our interests onto one another and um, had a lot of things in common mm -hmm. and it was a great first date. It was. Yeah. It was a good day. Both of us knew right away that we were like not interested in dating anybody else at that point that we just kind of wanted to see where it was going. That was on January 4th. Mm -hmm. January 17th, which was let, like a day shy of two weeks, yeah. we became boyfriend and girlfriend. He asked me to be his girlfriend. He did. He asked me to be his girlfriend. What, like a week later or two weeks later, we said, I love you. Mm -hmm. Like it's, it, it happened so freaking fast, but in the best, way like i wouldn't change a thing it was like we both just like yeah. knew on the first date i knew like when we started talking i knew there was something there and i, th I even told you that i was like yeah i'm really gonna he's like, like i'm you. really gonna like you <laughs> like, okay 
things. What do you what do you know? You just know. So. And you you know what's frustrating is that before I met him, I used to hear that crap all the time. When you meet the guy, yeah. you're gonna know. Like you're gonna. And I'm like, okay, well, when the hell is it gonna happen? Because it hasn't happened yet. And y'all know it hasn't happened yet because y'all have been with me for the last <laughs> four or five years, and it hasn't happened yet. And I feel like it's it's happened. So I'm really excited. All this happened in January. The last time I did a video life update, I was telling y'all that I was getting kicked out of my apartment. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, that happened. I, forgot about that. I know. Yeah. This happened in February. The day that I found out I was getting kicked out, I was like freaking out. He was there. My mom came over. They're like, let's go look at some apartments because I, I basically I was getting evicted. I had to find a place immediately. So we went to go look at apartments. I couldn't think straight. I didn't know what was going on. And he was like, I get to. I said, you can come stay with me for a while. And what did I say? You're like, no. Hell no. I was like, no. I'm not gonna move in with you. I just, number one, I just met you, okay? I've always said to myself that I was never gonna move in with a guy until I was married. And number three, my mama, Juana, doesn't play that shit. She does not, she was, she, I, when I tell you I'm 31 years old and I'm still scared of my mama. The problem is that the more I came over to Baton Rouge and spent time over here, the more I didn't want to leave and the more I really enjoyed being here with him and the more and more I was like, let me just see. And I didn't tell him right away, but I knew, I already knew in my head, I, I want to move in. But I didn't tell him because I knew if I would have told him right away, he'd be like, done, get your stuff, get your stuff. Move them in. So what did I do? I did like a gradual move yeah. in. Yeah, she, like a couple things at a time. Yeah. And, um, and I had my storage facility yeah. packed with all my, <laughs> my furniture. And I was like, let me just do a trial period. What trial period? I should have just moved all my crap and saved all that money on the storage facility. So here I am. <laughs> now I'm officially moved in. Mm -hmm. When we got the last of my stuff, I had like a minor anxiety attack. Yeah because it was the last of my things in New Orleans. And I and y'all know how much I love New Orleans, how much yes, does, yeah. I represent my city. Like, I would have never thought that I would leave New Orleans and Baton Rouge isn't that far. Baton Rouge is like an hour, us an hour and a half. And it's very different. So if you've ever been to New Orleans, don't think that all of Louisiana is like that. It's, it's mainly just New Orleans. But we're not necessarily in the heart of Baton Rouge. Okay. We're like on the outskirts of Baton Rouge, <laughs> yeah. where it's really quiet and you can see the stars. It's a little country. A lot country. It's a little. It's a, it's a little lot country. So yeah, I feel like that covers how we met. Yeah. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. I think so. So Yolanda June asked me, how many Bumble dates did you go on before meeting him? Hey Yolanda. I went on a lot of Bumble dates before meeting Lance, but nothing ever felt disconnected. Um, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> and nothing ever felt disconnected. I would go on dates mainly through online dating because my sister met her husband on Match. My brother met his girlfriend of almost three years on Tinder. A lot of my friends have married their significant other from Tinder or Bumble or Match or eHarmony or Christian Mingle. Like, so I can't knock the social media dating sites or online dating sites. Oh, I um, so, so I always give it a shot, but then like after a couple months, I just get bored with it and I delete it and I just try to meet people in person and then that just never worked out for me either so it just happened that by chance with this one match and then leading to the second match uh, it worked out are you engaged are, are we engaged well, I didn't tell him babe tell him tell him are we engaged I didn't pick that Okay, so somebody asked, how has it been living with the novio? We also have another one. What has been your biggest challenge in the relationship or living together? It's been good. Yeah. It's been good. It, I feel like it's, it feels natural. I will tell you this, which is actually something I told him, what, like yesterday, a couple days ago. In all the relationships that I've been on or been in, I, I've never fully felt myself. My family knows how I am, like on my own, like the real me. My friends know how I am, like who the real me is, like I'm crazy. I am all over the place. Dorky. Um, I'm dorky. Like I just, I'm not as cool as you think I am. Okay. <laughs> I'm not just not cool. So I'm that way with my family and with my closest friends. But for some reason in any dating or relationships that I've been in, I always felt like I had to be 
what that person wanted me to be for some reason. Like I was never fully myself. From the moment that I met Lance, I've been nothing but myself and it feels so liberating. It feels so free. And to have somebody love me for me, you know, and, and love my quirks and my oddities and my ridiculousness, it's so satisfying. It's it's great to know that. And I love him for him. Like I've seen, I'm not gonna tell y'all what we witnessed. <laughs> Wait, what, are you, what, are you talking about? <laughs> what I'm saying is it there's something really liberating about loving somebody who loves you back for who you are and you yeah. not trying to be anybody else. And he talks a lot about like, you know, the person that I am online, the person that I am through the camera. I feel like sometimes I have to always put on a smile. I always I'm, I'm always I always have to be on, you know, for being a YouTube personality, for being a social media influencer or whatever. But behind the scenes, a lot of y'all see me on Instagram stories. I'm a mess. I'm all over the place. That's who I am at home. And he loves me for that. Thank yeah. God. Thank God. Is he still obsessed with plants? Okay. <laughs> this is why I'm obsessed with plants. Tell me. They produce fresh oxygen for the house. Like mm -hmm. indoors, they produce fresh oxygen. So. I got locked onto that, and now I'm like, <laughs> they produce fresh oxygen for us to breathe. So, <laughs> I've made a list on the refrigerator of things that need to get done around the house. He is no longer allowed to bring a new plant home <laughs> unless one of those things on the list is crossed off. Because every time we went to the store today, and, and you try to bring I was home another plant, I was eyeing plants. we went every time we go to the grocery store or Home Depot or Lowe's anywhere. Me. You can't. Tell me that a fresh plant in the house is not like Where are we gonna put all these plants? And like helps you smile and we walk past it, that oxygen just goes in your nose and you're like, hmm. So Lucci0730, yes, Lance is still obsessed <laughs> with plants. Oh, well, they're all like, is he Hispanic? Is he Hispanic? Is he Hispanic? Is he Hispanic? Is your nose Hispanic? Does he speak Spanish? <laughs> I actually forgot to mention, on our very first date, when we were leaving the Cirque du Soleil thing and going to the bar, we got in his car, he drove us there, and the first song that was playing was a Bad Bunny song in Spanish. I was like, why are we listening to Spanish trap? I don't even like Spanish trap. This dude loves Latin music. Sometimes we'll be out and he'll have like throwback Latin songs. When I mean throwback, I mean like fulanito. He's like, how do you know about this? I mean, how, like how though? I don't, I just came across it and I, I just liked the music. He just really yeah. liked it. Yeah. He's also semi part Latino yeah. because on his ancestry.com, at first, well, at first, at your first, results I was were. Spanish and my last name is Garza. So I was, I've, I've been told my whole life that I'm um, Spanish. Mm -hmm. So that's what I thought this uh -huh. whole entire time. So that's what I tell people. But since I've taken that <laughs> test, when he met me, he was Spanish. It's, uh, it has updated, updated twice. Updated. The second time it updated, he was more Portuguese. Portuguese. And he was like heartbroken because he was like, I'm not Spanish anymore. The second time it updated, it said he was more Irish. Yeah. And he was like so disappointed in, in his self. Yeah, <laughs> he was like, mm, you're like an honorary Latino now because of your love for live music. Dulce says, does she inspire you and how or why? Yes. I didn't know what uh, a YouTuber was. I'm in um, oil and gas. So when she told me that, I said, like, oh, so it's a side thing? So that's what you do on the side? That That's cool. Like, that sounds like fun. And I was like, um, <laughs> no, it's my full-time job. How does, how does that work? Yeah. Like, um, you take pictures and you put them on Instagram. So that's what I thought. You know, but now being with her, I've seen the process. I've seen how much work is involved in these videos that y'all love. I see the process and the pictures and the brand work and all that stuff like that. It's a lot of work. So after seeing her and being with her this whole time, watching her do her work, it really, like, she's very inspiring. And then I got to see her do uh, events. She does things that a lot of people don't know that she does things uh, for the Hispanic community. She goes and talks to people. She goes and talks to young women, girls, girls <laughs> and just inspires them and lets them know to be proud of their heritage, to be proud of the curly hair, to be proud of who you are as a person. Just watching her talk and give lectures or give uh, speeches, speeches, like some advice uh -huh. on um, talk. To be proud of who you are is very inspiring. It's very. Mm -hmm. I'm very proud of her. Aww. Do your parents like him? Do your parents like him? 
They do. My parents actually really like him, which is, thank God. This is the only guy that I've ever dated that my dad likes. My dad got Lance drunk <laughs> for Mother's Day. He did. My dad calls me to ask how Lance is doing. <laughs> That's Mr. Lance. <laughs> How about me? How is your daughter? Me and your dad are like, like that. I can't. Okay. I'm trying to get comfortable. Awkward. <laughs> we also have, what happens when you speak about the future? Do you agree on everything or do you disagree? That's a good question. It's a great question. To be 100% honest, no, we don't agree all the time. This influencer life, the YouTuber life, the blogging life, the events and things like that, that is, different for me. Like I said, I work in the oil and gas. It's so this is a lot different. This is my first time being in a relationship with my career. So it's a little harder for me to understand like that work-life balance because before meeting Lance, it was always YouTube. It was always Instagram. It was always social media. It was always Reese's Rizzo's. And now adding somebody else into my life, I understand that there has to be some kind of work-life balance. So I think I'm trying to find a way to adjust to that and this is the first time that he's dating somebody that's in you know, this kind of space. So I think that for things like that, we don't always see eye to eye on things because it's new for the both of us. Yeah, it's very new. We will talk about things when they bother us mm -hmm. um, and we have really good communication. Mm -hmm. um, every now and then we have like ups and downs, let's just say everybody in a yeah. relationship. But we always come to a- uh, Understanding. A, understanding yeah. or agreement at the end of what we can do better for each other. Just like a respect yeah. for each other's respect, yeah. differences and opinions, I think. I think that's the best word to use is yeah. just respect, which I think is really important, which somebody else had also asked for advice um, because they just moved in. And I think one piece of advice that I'd like to give for anybody, again, this is my first time living with any guy or living with anyone in a relationship, but I think for me, what has really helped with our situation has been just a mutual respect for one another. Understanding that not everyone is going to see your point of view, but having a respect for one another and being able to have those conversations like adults, I think yeah. is, is sort of what helps a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Have you talked about marriage? <laughs> of course you would ask that question. That question came up several times, by the way, because we also got, are you and Novio engaged? Are you having kids? You want me to answer that? Or you want me to When does he go and wife you, though? <laughs> When you go wife me? Okay. Yes. Um, like I said. No, we're not engaged. <laughs> no, no, we're not engaged. Yeah, because that was the first question. And then you just flat out said yes. Okay. No, I said yes, we had talked about it. Oh, okay. Good um, save. Huh. Um, what are you doing? I'm nervous. <laughs> no pressure. That question makes me nervous. Why? Because. Why? <laughs> okay, Yes, we have talked about marriage. Yes. Um, Rocio is. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't. Are you gonna start crying? No, Maybe. No, no, no. <laughs> we have talked about it, mm -hmm. um, but we both know that we sort of want to experience all the seasons together yes. because seasons change and people also change, but people sort of change with the seasons. So we kind of want to at least give it that one year before. You know, we're both on the same page with that. I've already started Pinterest about <laughs> things, okay? I feel like when it does happen though, it's gonna be a big freaking deal because everyone and their mama has been waiting for this to happen for me. Like, I mean, I've been waiting, but like everybody's been waiting at the same time. When I, when we went public on Facebook, when we went public, when we posted on Facebook, made it Facebook official, do you know how many freaking comments and likes like, it's about time, Rocio, I got. <laughs> like, they had no faith in my dating life at all that when this happened, it was like a shocker. Like, oh my gosh, she finally found somebody. So, yeah, I feel like the moment that marriage actually happens, it's gonna be like, pigs are gonna start flying, and it's gonna be crazy. Win championship. What? <laughs> I say that we don't win championship? Whoa, I want a divorce. Talk about kids, yes. We also want to have kids. Maybe three. Two. 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 Two, okay. two or three. Yeah. Two or three-ish. So it'll happen when it happens. Guys timing and yeah. Guys timing. That's yeah. Right. And uh, I think that's it. Bueno chicas, ya llegamos al final del video. Si les gustaron este video, por favor, dale hito arriba y no se les olviden suscribir a este canal si no lo han hecho todavía. Y si tienen más preguntas para 
nosotros. Entonces, por favor, no, no, we already passed that. <laughs> Por favor. No se le olviden que también tengo página de Instagram arroba risas rizos. Allá pueden encontrar fotos, videos, tutoriales, cosas así sobre cabello rizado, pero también hablo un poco sobre la vida de nosotros. Eso es todo. Ya Tuda ya se está poniendo un poco nerviosa. ¿so? Entonces ya nos vamos. Las quiero muchísimo. Un besito. Y nos vemos en el próximo video. Bye. <laughs> you don't need a stool. I don't know if I was just in the whole time or if that makes me look creepy. I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> just kind of see where y'all... Wait, 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 wait. Am I looking at the camera the whole time? Yeah. Okay. Like at the lens. So I, I just need to look there yeah. while you're talking. Yeah. I keep looking at you. You can look at me, it's fine. Bueno, chicas, ya llegamos al final del video. Si les gustaron este video, por favor. Right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Baby, oh we have to go. Let know, me finish I'm this. I'm smiling. Okay, that's is okay. It weird? No, it's not weird. Okay. Why am I so pink? Because you, <laughs> you're white, babe. And if you have more questions for us, then please, no, we already passed that. <laughs> you said, for reward. So I was like, hmm. <laughs> hey.